want to prove the sine of theta over theta as theta approaches zero, see what the limit is. So um, taking out my calculator, we're going to graph sine theta over theta real quick. Take your calculators out. And if you graph that, you're going to see the sine of x over x. And that sine of x over x is, here we go. So we're going to clear this stuff. And we're going to see what the sine of x divided by x is. And double check. Well, I want to see what my mode is. I want to see that I'm in good mode today. I'm in radian mode. That's a good mode. And so we're going to go from negative 1 to 1. And we're going to go from negative 1 to 1 1.1. And I just want to see one in there. I want to see what that looks like. Just the graph of it. Scale, it's not going to like that. I'm going to make that just a one. Okay, so graph. Do you see my little graph here? This is sine x over x. And what does the y value appear to be for that? Here's 0. What does the y value appear to be? 1, right? But look at this. Look at this. Trace. Put a 1, a 0 in. What do you see for the y value? Nothing. It's undefined. Okay. And that makes sense. Sine of 0 is 0. What's 0 over 0? Undefined. So it looks like it doesn't have a limit, but it does have a limit. What does it look like it's going to be? 1. If you go to the left, what is it? 0.999. If you go to the right, what is it? 0.999. So very, the, from the limit on the left is 1, and the limit on the right is 1, what's the, the uh, area going to be? Or what's the limit going to be? One. So let's prove that. We're going to prove that by taking this triangle right here, this blue triangle, and with this blue triangle, the base is cosine theta, height is sine theta, and the area of that is one half the base, which is cosine theta, times the height. Hang in there. Don't put things away yet. This area is going to be less than the area of the sector. And this is from a unit circle, so the radius 1 half radius squared is 1 squared the uh, times theta. Remember that sector? We did that, 1 half r squared theta. That's going to be less than the area of this big triangle right here. That base is 1 half the base times the height, which is the tangent of theta. I'm changing tangent into sine over cosine. I'm going to make it. I have three minutes. You watch. So here's the big triangle. This was 1. This was tangent theta. And then this one here was a sector in between. This is 1. This was theta. All these are thetas. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be cosine theta times sine theta over 2. This is going to be 1 half theta. This is going to be 1 half sine theta over cosine theta. I'm going to divide everything, <coughs> excuse me, by sine theta, multiply by 2. Divide by sine theta, multiply by 2. Divide by sine theta, use a little color here, sine theta, multiply by 2. And you'll notice that these all cancel. Uh, let's see, there should be a 2 here. These will cancel, these will cancel, and those will cancel. And that's going to leave me with cosine theta 
is less than theta over sine theta is less than 1 over cosine theta. Now, if I went 1 less than 2 less than 3, would you agree with that? Oh, good. How about 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3? What would happen with the inequalities? Would they stay the same direction? They'd flip, wouldn't they? We're going to do that right here. I'm going to take the cosine. I'm going to go 1 over the cosine. And then I'm going to go sine theta over theta. And then I'm going to do cosine theta over 1. And I'm going to take the limit as theta goes to 0. What's the cosine of 0? 1. And then this one is cosine of 0 is 1. So I don't know what sine theta over theta is. I don't know. But it's somewhere between 1 and 1. Oh, what is it? It's 1, yes. So the limit as theta goes to 0 of sine theta over theta is 1. And we'll do more with that tomorrow. Thank you for being patient, and enjoy your day. Good day.